tell you what, let's start at 270 yards. Nice! All right, that's a good start. This is the Volkortsen Scorpion. Volkortsen Custom, we use their stuff a lot at camp. It is built just like a Ruger 2245 frame. Uh, it's gonna use the same Ruger magazines. But as I always tell the kids at Marksman Camp, Volkortsen Custom in general is like the Ferrari of 22s. And so while, you know, it's like your, I don't know, your Ruger would be the Honda, this will be the Ferrari, the Lamborghini, however you want to say it. So let's have some fun with it. We have a bullseye target at about, what's that's a 20 yard tree, so about 15 yards away. I don't know how quite zeroed we are, but we can, if we can get it through that one inch hole, we'll get that paddle to move. Oh, that was made it. It worked. We're well zeroed. Okay. Once you start holding out on a one inch dot though, he's like, boy, I'm jiggly today. For what we're doing today, uh, we've got a Bowers USS suppressor on it in this hollow sun with the ACSS reticle, uh, just because it's the one with that big ring. And we like the big ring for the kids at camp because if they just punch out there, it, it, it lets you use a red dot easy. What other fun can we have? Okay, we have a spinner target right there. It usually takes about three or four rounds to hit it right. Let's hit it. That's triple. Oh, and we had a click. There we go. Oh, I still have ammo. Okay, the goal is not to make it spin like you're gonna generate power, but it's a lot of fun when you do. I realized I have forgot to mention what this thing is right here. Everybody's gonna think it's part of the Scorpion, but actually that's our sponsor for today. This is Recover Tactical's G7 holster attachment. This is the holster that goes with it and it just slides in there. And now, as you probably guessed, you know, oh, that's universal. So yes, this is all that's gonna ride on your belt. And then that accessory rail goes right there. Any kind of compensator, any kind of light, any type of suppressor, now you can have that. You can buy extra little rail adapters and now have it on different guns and use the same holster for it. So of course I'll normally have a light on my setup and now it fits just the same way as well. You're going out for night vision at night, don't worry, you can put your PEC 15 on that as well. It actually works. <laughs> As crazy as you want to be with this holster, it works. And best of all, it's only 49 bucks. I'm going to have a link over on my link tree so you can find it there. So on Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Find the link tree. You can find this Recover Tactical G7 holster. I dig it. We've got golf balls set out there at 40 yards. A little far, but we're going to see what we can connect with. Oh, nice. It was so solid. Good hit. Nicked it. Nice. I love it with the suppressor because you can hear such a solid whack with that golf ball getting hit and it absorbs the bullet. Let's reach out a little further, see what we can find. I'll start at a hundred. <laughs> One of those sounded a little bit different. All right, 200 yard gong. Let's see what we get there. Sweet! I had to hold about, I don't know, would that be about six foot over the top edge and a little bit on the left side to hit that 200. That's cool. But we've got a 270 yards. Let's see if we can find that hold again and uh, lob it in there. If we hit it, sometimes we get our green light. Uh, try about there. Hit the tree. The delay is just too much fun. All right, let's unload this real quick and talk about some of the things that make this a cool pistol. Uh, this is a CNC aluminum frame with your 2245 grip angle, so the same grips will fit it, but it's gonna be a lot more precision. You have the Volkortsen accurizing kit in it, so all the parts, of course, that you could get from Volkortsen is good to go. You've got a two and a half pound trigger. I have no complaints about that trigger. It does have a tighter fit because when I would take it down, um, a Ruger would fall apart 
on, you know, just pull it apart and it's, it's loose enough. This, I've got a press. I've got to I'll usually push it on my workbench to get that, that takedown pin to fit inside the upper. And sometimes, you know, kind of give it a little whack to break it apart. So that's a good thing though, because that's the precision you want. Now the difference on this upper, uh, of course it's one piece of a CNC machine with a stainless steel barrel insert. Uh, you, this rail is removable if you need to. They have the four and a half inch and the six inch version. And they also have the X version, which does not have a rail or sights at all, which really would be exactly what I want because you can just throw an RMR or anything. It has several different footprints for all the different red dots. The bolt is what I love though. We have our a bolt with a diamond like coating and it makes it really slick and uh, very reliable because it's not gonna foul up easily. And it's, it's easy to cock because you have that big old bolt a cocking bolt on the back. It makes it great. And when we're using it at marksman camp, that's what I tell the kids to do. We just leave chamber empty, safety off. So on the stage that they run, they just have to worry about pulling it. And I, it, it's... It's pretty good like that. I think the Volkortsen Scorpion is pretty cool and a lot of fun at the range. It has been one of our favorites. I've got other Rugers that I don't even touch because why would you when you had this? So uh, the base price I think starts around 1400 and goes up on the models and finishes that you can do there. So you can go check that out at Volkortsen Custom. And yes, check out the G7 uh, from Recover Tactical uh, because for the price, I am really liking it as a universal holster with suppressed and everything else. Thanks for watching today, guys. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.